All right, boys and girls, today we are going to be doing another GSAP tutorial. And this one is another way of kind of highlighting or showcasing your past projects, whether you are a videographer, a brand designer, a web designer, web developer, whatever you are, and you have visuals, video, um, images. Uh, this is an amazing effect that you can use on your website. And if you are working on a website for an architect, a photographer, a brand designer, whatever it is, this effect can apply to them. So let's get started. All right, let's start by adding a container to this page. And this container will have a full width and a height of 100, 100 VH. And it's preferable to be 100 VH because as you click on the container or the container that is in full width, basically, the images will appear randomly all over the place here. Uh, and this is a container dedicated for, for this purpose, for this effect. All right, so I recommend it to be 100 VH. Okay, let's also give this container a class. And this is the class that we are going to work with. And I will simply add an, uh, an, a heading in here just for fun. You don't have to do that. You can add whatever you want, obviously. So I already have this styled. Uh, let me just bring in the content to center and center. So uh, if you want to know what font this is, I will leave a link to the font creator in the description below. I have talked about this font creator before. I really love their work and the, most of their phones are free. And even if you have to buy a phone, they are really, really affordable, really good. All right, so let's see what we have so far. That's it. Nothing else, okay? All right, let's now add an HTML tag in here or widget, not tag. I will just drag it in here and now I can bring in my code. So it's going to be a long, long code. Yes, it's going to look a little bit overwhelming, but you don't have to deal with much of it in terms of changing the code. Here it goes. You can just focus on a few things. All right. So first thing, let's go and look for our class, the class that I mentioned earlier, the class that we added on the container, right? So this is the class here. So if you don't want this class named this way, you can name it whatever. Change it here, change it in the parent container that is holding our images and videos. All right, as you can see here, we have an array of images and an array of videos. So this can be replaced with images and videos from the media library in WordPress. So if you don't know how to do that, let's go to the media, to the media library, to the dashboard. And I am in my media library, yes. And if I want to add one of these images, I just click on it, copy the URL, as simple as that. Go back to my array of images, for example, because we're adding images and simply add it in here right just as simple as that don't forget the comma at the end that is it the same with the videos let's publish and let's see what is happening anything happening yes as you can see the image the big image that appeared first was the image that we added last and again the image is coming and these images, as you can see, they have random sizes. I think this is super, super cool. And it has something, I don't know. It's just something so, so cool about it. And before you ask, or before you say that this is not working on mobile, it's not working on mo mobile on purpose, because I'll be honest, this effect is not necessarily mobile focused. You could also do it for mobile. It works. I've tested it. And I will have this code that is disabling the mobile functionality. And I will have also the code that does not disable the mobile functionality. So you can choose whatever code you prefer. And please test it out thoroughly because this might impact user experience. So I think it's a pretty cool effect. And 
as you can see you don't need much to make it work of course you can play with these values if you want any of these values i'm not gonna get too much into explaining and testing and because everybody has a different kind of need right so you work it out the way you want this to work all right let me just add another container here and let me show you that this effect will not work on this container because probably i'm gonna get these questions and i want to make sure that i kind of covered most of my bases all right so i am publishing and okay so it's working on here yes and if we scroll and we click on this this doesn't work all right so let's have another look and let's try to give this a different background so no maybe let's try i don't know Oh god, this is too yellow. Alright, I'm gonna go with this awesome green. And let's have a look to see how these images look on a colored background. I think it is pretty cool. And you can create a custom cursor and uh, have this uh, be active on this page only and show how and show something like a message so click on this section or click so people know that this section is uh, clickable or you could have this text here say click this section for a preview of our work or whatever comes to mind and i think this is such a pretty cool effect so let me know if you are going to be using this and how you will be using it because i think is very 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 cool especially with this mix of images and videos it makes it so so more interesting and more dynamic feeling you know even if you have a very simple website this can add that little sprinkle of fun to it. So, if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.